Hey, this is Chris Bono, and welcome to this series of Guitar Gym Workouts for Tapping. Every guitar hero that we've ever worshipped, from George Benson to Joe Satriani to Bumblefoot to Buckethead, whoever, they all have one thing in common no matter what their method was. They spent hours and hours in the shed getting their chops together. Another thing all these guys have in common is something very important, and that is an organized workout schedule. They had to put together a schedule that incorporates the skills that they wanted to get better at, be it alternate picking, hammer-ons, pull-offs, speed picking, tapping, harmonics, triads, you name it. Somewhere down the line, they had to put it all down on paper, figure it out, slot out the time, and just get it done. Like everybody else, I've developed a series of workouts that work for me, but what I had to do was tweak those workouts for beginner-level players, intermediate-level players, advanced-level, all kinds of guys, and that's what I organized here in Guitar Gym. You see, the challenge was coming up with workouts that spanned across all levels. And not only that, I have to span across styles. What's a good workout for a blues player and a rock player and a metal player? And what about the guy who's a beginner compared to the guy who's an intermediate level? Well, I put together a series of workouts that covers that, but not only does that, but it goes from one level to the next in a smooth and systematic way. After years and years of developing, tweaking, honing in on these lessons and giving them out to students all over the world, I got it down cold. I know what they're supposed to be and I know they work. And I'm psyched to be able to share these series of workouts with you here in Guitar Gym. In the tapping series of workouts, you'll find three levels. Within those three levels, you'll find three workouts at three different tempos. In level one, we'll ease into the tapping technique by literally making touches on the neck and then having those touches pull off to open strings. We'll start this at 40 beats per minute, like this. <laughs> Develop your tapping technique by starting to incorporate notes with your fretting hand. First we'll put in one note, then we'll add another note, and we'll be using hammer-ons and pull-offs as well. We'll do this with workouts up to 100 beats per minute, like this. In level two, we'll start working with single string tapped arpeggios. We'll start playing these with workouts at 50 beats per minute, like this. These tapped arpeggio sequences will be played on one string, three strings, all the way up to six strings. We'll do this with workouts up to 110 beats per minute, like this. And in level three, we'll tap through heptatonic scales by combining your tap finger with three note per string fingerings in your fretting hand. We'll start these workouts at 60 beats per minute, like this. These expanded scale sequences will have you tapping through Ionian, Mixolydian, and Aeolian sounds, diagonally up and down the neck. We'll play these workouts all the way up to 120 beats per minute, like this. I've charted out every last workout. You'll have it in PDF form, Power Tab, and Guitar Pro. From there, you can change the tempo at will and practice it at any tempo that you want. Throughout Guitar Gym, you should be working with the metronome. Now, just in case you don't have one, I've provided a practice track for you that has the same click that you hear within the course. As a bonus, I've also included some very cool drum tracks. The tracks are at the top tempo of each one of the workouts. So once you make it all the way through, it's like me saying, hey, congratulations, you did it. You have this drum track that you can further practice the workout over with, or you can continue to jam on something else, bass a jam on the workout, Take the drum track, put it into uh, your recording situation, and do what you want to do. Okay, that's enough talk about doing something. Let's actually do it. So it's time to grab your guitar, get into the gym, and let's get to work. <laughs> 